So you want to learn how to code infinity in Minecraft with just command blocks, only command blocks. So <laughs> I'll be showing you how to do that today and I'll show you my thought process. So first you want to start with give add as command block, obviously. All right. And I like to use levers to buy my command blocks. So first let's say you want to make the slow. Okay. So as they approach you, you want, okay, first you have to, let's, let's do one thing at a time. So in my Gojo video, I use the eye of Ender for infinity, you know, six eyes. All right. So if we want to do execute, right? This will cut. So we have to first make it so that whenever they cl get close to you, the player, while you're holding the eye of Ender, that it's going to slow down everything near you. So execute at or at a and then if you want to be only you you can like use the tag system so right so like that add at s and then also so we have the item right has item equals item equals and then so to find out what the item is called in the minecraft files uh, you can do it right here slash give that's what i use ender i instead of i of ender is ender underscore i so ender underscore i and location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand this will make it so that when you're holding the ender i in your main hand or like you know showing up in inventory it is it will like you know execute so add s and then run effect at e and then so you don't want to affect the slowest effect you obviously tag equals so if you put an exclamation mark for the tag it makes it so it does not include that slow and then you want a radius around you because it's not yeah. so it's radius five slowness um and let's make it like two slowness two and let's not make it true so we can still let's make it so we can still see the particle effects just because it should be working. Yeah, it should be working. So let's see if it's working. Yep, it is working. These guys are not able to move. And don't make it 999. I just made it 999. So you can actually see it. One, so that they'll be able to regain their speed, you know, when they're away. And what you want to do so your chat doesn't get spanned is command block output false. All right, I'm gonna kill these guys so these guys don't have to move the slowness. Right, they can't move, and what you probably want to do is add slow falling as well to your infinity. So you're gonna want to copy that and paste into here, and then add slow falling. See, so now it just looks like a slow. You can combo extend. You know the works, right? And but you're gonna you notice right or what are those guys called? These guys don't burn the daylight, right? They definitely do. Okay. So what you're going to notice that though is that um, is that arrows will still be able to move through your infinity if you want them to or not so this is gonna be a little bit more complicated but it's nothing crazy so what I like to do with this ready right just copy it most of it's just gonna be copying you're just gonna delete from the run so then you're gonna have to execute as at e type equals arrow at at s then you're gonna do another run i think command is like the backbone of like any you know command so it's great to learn um tp at s so you just teleport the repeatedly teleport the arrow where the arrow is effectively stopping it in its tracks right so yep but if i take it down it should be able to hit me still. Yeah. 
Uh, usually what I do for the arrows though is, oh my goodness. Okay, usually what I do for the arrows though is that I reduce the radius for them. So, run. You can have the selector R equals because currently that was stopping every arrow in the world instead of just like an arrow close to me. So that should change it so for the better. Oh no. I think they're already too close. Yeah, they stop pretty close to you now. I think uh, a radius of three is probably the best. Since it won't actually be able to hit you unless they're like because uh, sometimes they can break through it, through it if it's too fast. So, here yeah, we have... Yeah, it should catch them. If you're too close though, you will still get hurt. Yeah. So they don't count on getting too close to them. And you, they can still hurt you. They're still countered by my character moving. So if I go into one, I will take damage. But I think it's a pretty neat thing. And also, uh, if you want items to stop moving too, which you can like 100% do, it's the same thing as the arrows. The same exact thing as the arrows. You just change the selector to item. So, gonna copy what's in here. Control A and then Control C, right? Then delete all this, Control V and type equals item so if you want the items not to move too you just want everything to be slowed so I can like I know items do kind of bob up and down so it's affected by gravity so you might have to tweak it a little bit yeah point three should be it or right. yeah so if you want completely frozen infinity, that's how you do it. I might break it down a bit more. Hold up. Ah. So yeah, that's pretty much infinity. Uh, and if you don't want the particle effects or you want them to get slower, it's just the same process. So hold up. Okay. So if you want them to get slower as they approach you, like the actual movie. What you want to do is lower the range and then up the slowness. So you change this to four and then three, and you have to make a command block for every it, every time. So four, three, you know, three, four, four, you know. And if you want the particles not to be visible, you can just add true at the end, and that will make it so that the particles are no longer visible. So. Oh god. So as you can see, they're still being slowed, but the particles are no longer visible. That was a close one. Oh my gosh. Okay. And if you if you really want um the arrows to like slow down, I think there is a way to like discriminate between you know where they are. As you can see, like the infinity will kind of make a raise. So, ideas meal. Okay. So, you know, if you've ever seen Gojo spike his infinity, that's how you do it. And I will be putting all the commands in the description and probably cutting down the video a lot because I was basically rambling. But yeah, thank you for watching.